Stop talking, guys. Stop talking. Just, just stop talking. Oh, okay. Um, you know, take going back to Chikara because that's mainly why you're here. You know, I don't want right. to you know, give away publicity to the other companies, so they're all great. Um, couple, last year, you you and Hayes were very close to you know getting the three points necessary to you know to get the the title shot for the tag title. You know, how how was it? You know, being two women and being so close to, to possibly gaining the tag titles, you know, from men? Uh, really, we don't even think of it like that, like, oh, were women going to take this away from men? Like, no, we train the same. We, we've we all put in the same amount of work, and we are all, like, we all bring something different and special to the ring, like every person does. And I think... Uh, us coming that close, just having a taste, makes us work even harder. And, you know, right now the tag titles are where they should be and we'll work hard to keep them there. And if one day uh, we need to step up and threaten to take them again, I mean, we'll be sure to do that. But, like, I mean, our gender never is comes into play or is an issue or we feel, I mean, Daisy might feel like she could use that to her advantage. But me, I'm just all... All wrestling all the time. Uh, are are you the are you the baddest woman in Chikara? Yeah. You know, are are you un, unstoppable? No, there's you know because we've seen Kong, you know we've seen what she can do in other uh, companies, and now she and Ryu Society are trying to get roster spots. Are you at all scared? You know if they come in, you know they can possibly knock you off your perch. No. I mean, Kong and Saeed are great, but they're no Sarah Del Rey. Yeah. We, we've got a question from a Michigan indie fan in the chat room. Um, what do you feel is more the most important, important part of your training regimen, in-ring drills, gym work, psychology, et cetera? It's all important. You have to have every single piece of the puzzle. Like It's all important what you do inside of the ring, outside of the ring, what you do mentally to prepare, watch tapes. Like It's all important. You can't, you can't neglect any aspect of it, and I think that's what makes me and Daisy Hayes so dominant. John, uh, you're on the line. You said you have some more questions for Miss Sarah Day Roy. Are you on the actual here? Sally? Hi. Hi. Didn't you say you had your doc match, I think, with Angelina Love, I think, last week or two weeks ago in TNA? Yeah, I did a house show. And, and how, how was it feeling? What? How was it feeling being in a big crowd like that? It was really cool. It was uh, on the Jersey Shore, and I'd never been to the Jersey Shore, so that was, like, really exciting. And then, I mean, the the talent roster that was out the house show from TNA's end was pretty big. It was really awesome. It was a good show, and I had a lot of fun and got a lot of good feedback. And, uh, yeah. And, and, and when you do those dark uh, matches for for those companies, is that always held as a tryout match, or is that, you know, hey, we just need solid talent to come out and wrestle? Yeah, no, I I mean, I don't, I mean, if it is a tryout, no one's ever told me. It's just kind of like um, I'm the local girl, and to help uh, promote the show around the area, they throw me on, and it's a good, I mean, it's it good business sense for everyone it's worked out well, and I hope to continue to do it. Okay. Go ahead. No, I, I was also gonna, I was gonna ask about you know, women, young women who, who want to get into professional wrestling, you know, 
because the the mainstream stuff that we see currently, you know, you need to have that model look. And it, it, it it's not it's not where, you know, the talent as in wrestling is put on the forefront. You know, for these young women who want to be professional wrestlers and do it the right way, you know, what is your advice and is there like, you know, like a wrestling school that you would, you know, put out there as for them to check out first? Um, well, not just for girls, but for anyone, I'd, you know, do research. And, I mean, expect to work hard. It's not easy. Like, I see people all the time come into a facility and, you know, try out and realize, like, it's a lot more hard than they thought or a lot more work, a lot more time, sacrifice. And, uh, you know, they just can't, they can't make that sacrifice at the time. So, I mean, mentally prepare yourself to give it your all, really give it your all. Otherwise, you won't get anything out of it. And, I mean, I personally train at the Chicago's Wrestle Factory. So if if anyone wants to come down and see what a training is like, I mean, um, they could definitely get in contact with me and I could work something out. But for anyone, if I mean, if you're not in the Philadelphia area, just go to a school where the trainers are people who have done something or been places you've you want to be or done things you want to do and I mean because nowadays I think the problem with indie indie wrestling is so many people uh, claim to be trainers or that they could train people and there's just a lot of poorly trained people out there so I mean really do your homework and study and I mean I went I was lucky that the school closest to my house had like excellent trainers and people who are really serious about pro wrestling and uh yeah so just do your research and find the place that will help you attain your goals whether it's wwe or japan or mexico or anywhere you want to be let me ask you this what makes uh the best pro wrestler is it the in-ring ability you know or the entertainment factor i know the combination of both is 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 really needed to succeed, but if you could only have one side of it, which do you think is, is, is the best build? Uh, I think that's all personal preference. Like, everyone has a style they like or, um, you know, characters they like or a reason that they like pro wrestling, whether it's the people hitting hard or the storylines or the characters or whatever it is. So it's all personal preference. preference. Me, I... I think the best wrestlers are the people who really um, dedicate and study and, you know, evolve and are constantly trying to learn and improve and get better and have good attitudes. Those make the best professional wrestlers to me. All right. Uh, John's got one more question for you. Go ahead, John. Here, John. How was your match? How do you think your matches go every time? Because I think these, this is the one that has the great matches with you every time you step in the ring with her. Missed you. Oh yeah. What do you? Was that a question there or was that a statement? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, John. Oh, uh, uh, working you, with you, Missy. You missed, like, Shane, you, you uh, had a couple okay. more questions for Darnell, right? I, I've got questions. Forget John. Uh, I think John is still starstruck. Um, anyway, Miss Del Rey, you got, in addition to Tickosaurus Rex coming up at the end of this month, uh, next month in August, Chikara has the Young Lions Cup. Um, which is the last weekend in August. You know, looking ahead, what what do what what can fans expect from the Young Lions Cup uh, event? The Young Lions Cup is a uh, an awesome and a unique uh, tournament for. I mean, exactly what it says, Young Lions. It, it showcases the young up and comer. Up and coming guys, usually high flyers, a lot of action, and I mean it's just great exposure for younger talent and guys. And so I think you can ex- expect a lot of 